Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Monday, so it's meal prep day. We are going to focus on high protein this week using cottage cheese. All three of today's recipes actually contain cottage cheese, which is such a versatile food. High in protein, melts like regular cheese. If you don't like the texture, you're going to love today's video because there's no cottage cheese texture here, yet we're reaping all of the protein rewards. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every week and Monday is always meal prep day. I will have my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes. I'll also have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you. It's all of that is in the description box. So let's head into the kitchen for this high protein cottage cheese filled meal prep. So the first recipe we're making that can that uses cottage cheese is a copycat recipe from Starbucks. These are the bacon and gruyere egg bites. Now I'm not using hot sauce, that is optional. I will have the original recipe on my website, but let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need eggs, Monterey Jack cheese, and Gruyere cheese. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, I couldn't find just Gruyere, so this is a blend of cheddar Gouda and Gruyere. I think that's going to pair beautifully in these egg bites. I'm using turkey bacon as my bacon, salt and pepper, and of course some cottage cheese. And again, hot sauce is optional. So the first thing I'm going to do is into a medium sized bowl, I'm going to crack eight eggs. I also cooked up three slices of the turkey bacon. I just threw it in the microwave and I have a large pot of water coming to a boil. And to the eggs, I'm adding one cup of cottage cheese. I have a one cup of the Gruyere blend and then half of a cup of Monterey Jack. I'm adding three quarters of this to the eggs. I'm going to leave about a quarter of it left in the bowl. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And then I'm going to mix this together. You can also throw this in your blender, but my little whisk thing here, I actually got this on Timu, will blend this up really nicely. I'm going to toss it into my Nutribullet. Make sure that cottage cheese is nice and smooth. So I have a nine by 13 heavy rimmed baking dish. I'm going to pour my boiling water into the bottom. And then I'm going to place my muffin pan right on top. We just want to make sure, oh, you guys are steamy. We want to make sure that we don't get the water obviously in the eggs. The recipe also suggests a jelly roll pan. So I guess that's another option. So I have my egg mixture. I'm just going to pour that into the muffin pan. I want 12 total. And then I'm actually going to sprinkle the bacon on top and then the remaining cheese. And then this is going into a 325 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. We just want to make sure the eggs are cooked through completely. So the egg bites are out of the oven. These look amazing. I'm going to allow them to cool just a little bit before I pop them out of the muffin pan. These egg bites look amazing. They smell amazing. They are the perfect texture and consistency, just like the ones at Starbucks. And we know how expensive those are. So you can make them at home for way less money. You can control what goes into them. You can really punch up the protein. I can't wait to have these all week. So I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I am making lasagna roll-ups with cottage cheese. So we're using cottage cheese in place of ricotta lower calories, lower fat, a lot more protein. And I'm actually adding in a pound of 96.4 ground beef. This is not in the original recipe, but again, I'm really trying to amp up the protein. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need a marinara sauce of your choice. If you're on WW, I'd recommend a zero point marinara. I'm using the fiber gourmet lasagna noodles. Did you know they have lasagna noodles? Amazing, just like traditional lasagna, but 50% less calories, 110 calories per serving, 24 grams of fiber, seven grams of protein. 
you already know how much I love my fiber gourmet. I buy this off of Nutrition, and I do have a 10% discount code for Nutrition. I'll link it down below for you. Low fat cottage cheese, Parmesan, pesto, salt and pepper, light mozzarella, fresh basil, fresh parsley, an egg, and again, I'm adding in that pound of 96.4 ground beef. I'm going to brown up my ground beef, and then I have a pot here coming to a boil. We're going to cook the lasagna noodles per package instruction. So while the noodles are cooking, my ground beef is ready to go. I'm going to mix up the filling. So I have 16 ounces, which is one container of cottage cheese, one standard size container. We're adding two tablespoons of pesto, a quarter cup of chopped parsley. You can also use dried parsley and a half of a cup of Parmesan. And then we're going to mix this all together and set it aside. So we're going to add about a cup of marinara sauce to the bottom of a nine by 13 baking dish and then just spread that out nice and even. Okay, slight change of plans. Instead of doing lasagna roll-ups because that seems like a lot of work to just roll each thing full of the lasagna cheese mixture, this right here with the basil. I'm just going to make a pan of lasagna, divide it out by the number of servings that I would have gotten from lasagna roll-ups. I'm just thinking that that's going to be a easier way to do this than to have to roll everything up individually. So I'm going to start laying the lasagna noodles on top of the sauce, and then I'm going to add some of the ground beef. Also cottage cheese mixture, just kind of spread that out on top. You know what, it would actually be smart just to add the ground beef to the marinara. So I think I'm actually going to do that, just pop in that pound of ground beef with my jar of marinara sauce. I'm going to add a little marinara first, and then I'll mix those together. Then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of basil. I absolutely love fresh basil. And another layer of noodles and repeat until everything is gone. Then I'm going to add my mozzarella on top. So instead of the roll-ups, I just kind of did a layered lasagna. I've got some leftover fresh parsley, fresh basil to top the lasagna with when it's done, but it's going into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until it's cooked through. And there's the lasagna. I topped it with a little bit of fresh basil, a little bit of fresh parsley. You could do it roll-up form. I really think this is going to be the easiest way. So the number of roll-ups that I was supposed to get, I'm just going to cut the lasagna into that number of servings. This looks so good. What an amazing week of meals. So for a snack this week, I'm going to make whipped cottage cheese. I've made this before, but this is a little different recipe. I'm actually going to have that this morning as a snack. So I'm going to put the whole thing together so you can see exactly what it looks like, but it's really simple. So for the recipe, you want cottage cheese. You know, I love good culture, but it is a little bit more salty than Daisy. So for this particular recipe, I'm going to use Daisy, raw honey and vanilla extract. And then for toppings, I chopped up a couple tablespoons of pistachios, some fresh raspberries, and then you can even drizzle over a little bit of honey. So I added 300 grams of cottage cheese to my blender cup. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I am going to do a tablespoon of honey. You can use any sweetener of your choice, but I'm going to do honey to keep it as natural whole food as possible. And then we're just going to blend this up. So here is what it looks like. This actually makes two servings. So I'm going to put half of this into a bowl and then we're going to top it with some fresh raspberries, the chopped up pistachios, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of honey right on top and I'll just mix that in with the whipped cottage cheese. So here is what it looks like. This looks amazing. I'm actually going to pop it in the fridge, get it nice and cold, but this is a, a great snack option. You're getting some healthy fat from the nuts, good source of carbs and fiber from the raspberries. Raspberries are the highest fiber fruit, lots of protein in the cottage cheese, nice whole real food. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Like I said, if you don't like the texture of cottage cheese, no fear, you won't even know that it's in these recipes, yet you're going to get 
all of the amazing protein. I will have my recipe website in the description box at the very top. That's where you'll find all of today's recipes. I'll also have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come and join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful, healthy week, and I'll see you in the next one.